fuck away from me, you fucking loser. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I know exactly how you feel It doesn't matter what you say I see the sun begin to set And we gotta, gotta get away I know exactly how you feel It doesn't matter what you say So, so we just got to church Damn, honestly I wish I would've just recorded it for you guys But um, yeah, I asked my dad I asked him um how did he feel when he was growing up? Like, you know, cause his dad wasn't there. Um, like, you know, his mom and his dad split up early on and, and he was like, he would see him and stuff. He wasn't like a, a you know, like a dick or asshole, but, but they just didn't have, you know, how I'm lucky to have him every day. And he was always there since I was born. And um, yeah, I asked him like, how did you feel? Did it affect you? Did you always think about it? And he's, you know, he was just saying how it didn't affect him too bad. Cause his mom was like really strong. Yeah, he used to just like um, you know observe other dads, other good dads, and other people. And he was saying how that always motivated him to be like, okay, I don't have to be like my dad. I could, I could be like this guy. I could be a dad like that. And then when he met my mom, he saw the way her father was with her family, and he was just like, yeah, like I definitely want to be like this guy. So it was just awesome to hear that. And um, and you know who I really called grandpa was his stepdad which came into his life around 16. And like to me, that was my real grandpa. Like I didn't really know the, the real one like that. So, um, you know, it's just to show you, man, like, you know, don't ever think that you can't be a great dad just because you didn't have yours around or whatever the situation is. Like you can always be what you want to be. And my dad was determined to be a great dad. And you know, he wasn't the richest. He wasn't able to, like he gave us a great life, but you know, he did it all on his own hands. You know, like he put the work in. And then now you got this guy over here who's a dad. He just rolled up a little late. But this guy's a dad now too. Happy Father's Day. What's going on, bro? Thanks, man. Sarah? There's gotta be a father. Okay, what's up? Who else do we know on Instagram? Who else do I know on Instagram? How many of us there, there was a little bit of fear attached to that? You were kind of like, oh my goodness, what have I done? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. That's okay. Not every man raised his hand. That's okay. We love you too. But you're lying. <laughs> if you're not a little bit afraid when you become a father, you're not paying attention. <laughs> I'm about to cop this right now, fam, because Finding Nemo, I mean, Finding Dory came up. Yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, man. I think Best Buy might be one of my favorite stores. I'm surprised, honestly, I'm surprised I never really, like, worked in a, um, oh, shit, that's a dope ass DVD chase. Wow. See if y'all can see it. Y'all see that? That's, that's dope. Shout out to Power. I heard it's a good show. I've never seen it, but that's a dope DVD case. Damn, I heard this show is really good too. Underground? About the Underground Railroad. I heard it's really good. But um, yeah, man, Best Buy. Just something about Best Buy, man. It's such a dope place. This is how we start Monday mornings, fam. Business emails. To possible clients. Fresh off of breakfast. Yo, this is a cool Monday, man. What we got? We got Greg home. We got my nigga G Beasy out here. Right, Running nigga. wild, nigga. With no yeah, shirts on, nigga. No fucking laundry, oh. nigga. You gotta take all your clothes no. off, nigga. The clothes you got on, nigga, you throw it in the laundry. Nigga. No homo. Oh, fuck out of here, man. Love, Which nigga. one of you little niggas know about laundry, nigga? Separate the darks from the lights, nigga. We they racist, still at home nigga. With mama, blood. We segregating, nigga. <laughs> we some racist niggas. Martin Luther King wasn't approved of this shit. Nah, man. <laughs> it's all about the relationships that you create. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The three people that you're around the most is like five, nigga. Five? <laughs> top five. You know, top five. Top five. The sphere of influence For around real. you is what you know could catapult you to what you want to do. Or help you to achieve your goals. Yeah. Or just anything in life. So, yeah, man. It's real talk. Ever since we moved in together, dog, we've just been trying to 
build, man. Trying to help each other in the business side, in life, in this and that, and everything, all across the board, man. And yeah, now we're about to go meet with some uh, some people. They they run like a mortgage company, and um, they want to see if we can create some visuals for them and help them create some content for online. And yeah, man. It's looking good, you know what I mean? My man Wayne telling me, yo, smell the shmoney, nigga. Do the shmoney dance. The shmoney dance. I'm like, all right, like, kid. You gotta be there to shmoney. Where they at, though? What? 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 Where they at, though? Do your thing, man. Yeah, do your thing. So, you know, if you listen to Blue Frequency, the structure of the water, will change completely. Wow. And it's proof. It's, this is not... Uh, this is not just story. myth. This is real. This yeah. is real. A guy in Japan changed a molecular on the water just talking to the water and it does work. Because wow. we are water. That's true. What about microwaving food? No good. <laughs> no good. Bye, right? <laughs> Damn you hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. What's the name of the store? Healthy Roots. Healthy uh, Roots. Uh, uh, this is a community business. I buy from the community and I sell to the community. Right in Remember, here. Remember, we're here to serve. Y'all definitely make it really fun. So it's not only about just watching. It's about everything, bro. It's about all different races. Honestly, I think the only people that Trump has came at that I feel like would really fuck his vote up is black people. Yeah, well, ideally, I think, yeah, I, think think IG, at all. I think IG police would be good for Facebook too, man. Honestly, I think that should be good for everything. <clears throat> Let's cut it down or throw it up on there if they'll accept it. Just how it is. Well, well, this one's like funny. Like it's not, it's not like oh, it's like, like, it's like it's fucking around. Like literally just fucking around. Like Facebook Live, fucking around talk shows. Like, so like Saturday Night Live. Facebook like, Fridays or something. Nah, Friday I feel like is the worst time because people are gonna go out and they're gonna go party. You don't wanna watch any live video. True. And 10 minutes long is like nothing. And silly honestly, silly, silly Willy Wednesdays. No, that's like, well, I don't know what we're calling our shit. Silly Willy Wednesdays, B. Big oh. Willy Thursdays. What y'all think about that? Like, if Yo, so Nate sent us like this good like, um, I think it was from the Bible. It was like something that was just kind of spoke to us and it was just like, and it was something real positive we all liked it. So I, I'm replying to him and I, I'm on the shitter, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the toilet taking the shit. I reply to him all so I replied to him, and then I was about to go grab a wet wipe. So I'm getting ready to switch hands with my phone. So while I'm like thinking about switching hands, I'm looking at the wet wipes, and the phone literally slips right out my hand, goes right into the toilet with my shit. <laughs> Yo, so and then I pull out my phone, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? I can't believe what just happened. And there's shit on my phone. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I'm trying to clean it, but then I don't want to put it under the sink because I don't want to wet my phone more and fuck it up more. So I'm just, like, lost. So I end up using wet wipes to fucking clean my phone before I even wipe my ass. So I wipe down my phone. I'm trying to clean out all the shit. Yo, long story short, man, I was able to clean my phone. I was able to clean my ass, and my phone works, which is amazing. Yeah, man, <laughs> Yo, and if you know me, if you see me, if you ever want to use my phone for a call or a text, just, yo, just think about the situation. Use it your own risk. Alright, so pretty much, um, getting ready to film these, uh, these two little, like, what do we call them? Brand sketches, I guess? We're doing these sketches for a brand, um, and for a company. Oh, the dude, y'all seen in the last vlog, Dr. Phone Fix. The wings getting everything together. My dog Dave out here setting up the sound for my man James. James gonna be on the sound. He got the coffee. He got the Dunkin'. And yeah, man. So we're about to have some fun. Wink Whoa, is way Wink. too swagged out for this video, way dog. Way too swaggy, bro. Swaggy. Mick Jaggy. Jagger. Yeah, man. Dude, I'm pretty swag too, but Wink's gonna put me in a sleeper hold and make me look like a fool. Well, I mean, I gave Julius the option. If he wants to put me in a sleeper hold, he could do that. But I guess he feels more comfortable okay. getting put in it's a sleeper hold. It's more believable hold, so. you put me in a sleeper hold, dog. Yo, Greg. This is why you gotta smoke pipes, guys. Oh, man. It takes all this shit out. Dude, this is the disgusting. shit you'd be putting inside yourself if you didn't n smoke through water, guys. What do they call it in the smoke shops? Water, water pipes. Tobacco hey, water it's pipes. not a bong. It's a fucking water pipe, you idiot. Yeah, that's the lady of the house, JC. How you doing? <laughs> uh, I met you last time. Yeah, Julius. Anyway, Andrea? Andrina. Andrina? 
All right, so this is gonna be the lady of the video today. All right, you ready to kill it? I'm ready. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yo, Wing, if you want, you can like go over the script with her just to get her going and shit. I'm about to show how he's abusive. Yeah, exactly. Protect me. Protect me, bro. Like, help me. Help me. No, <laughs> We got the Dr. Phone Fix car out here. What, what's your name, bro? Tim. Tim? Yeah. All right, we got Tim out here with us. Hi. He came strapped with the flyers. Andrina getting ready to kill her part. Dr. Dre. Duh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah man, so it's gonna be a fun day. We just, we gotta kill it quick so that way we don't melt out here in the sun. This and there. I'll forget, <laughs> oh, oh shit. And we're gonna use the cars as well. Uh, I just stand in the shade. Yeah. I know this is, this is probably a good location. Damn, I can't hold back. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Roll sound. Oh my god, you have a great phone. Take four. Oh my god. You have a good phone. Yeah, I have a temper grass screen. <laughs> temper grass. <laughs> For real, man. Let's talk about like, how they started their business and stuff. Yeah. Yo, we're sitting here with my boy Tim. Part owner of the Dr. Phone Fix It. So you say you, you started t eight years ago? Yeah, eight years ago we started. Oh. We, uh, we expanded since then. We, right now we have 40 locations. So. Crazy. Well, did you ever see it getting this big? Or no, was just kind of like... You know, I, was, I was young, you know, 22 years old, just trying to make an extra, an extra buck and it turned out to be more than what I thought it would be. So. Yeah. Pretty, uh, How'd pretty you go excited. about it? Right away you guys like just started going for investors or you guys put your own money into it? Or? Yeah, yeah, no. So we, we put out 20,000 bucks and uh, to, to, to start the business into, like, and it grew from there. Damn, man, that's awesome, dude. That's what we've been going back and forth. Like, we've been trying to just do it on our own, our money, not owing anybody anything. But it's like, sometimes it's like, fuck, man. It feels like we're like kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah. You know? You're going to go through the hard times. That's an every business. You know, there's always ups and downs, you know? But as long as you continue to put hard work in, it'll always pay off in the end. So. Sure. Sure. There you go, man. There you have it. There you have it. Now we got to eat. We got to eat. We're all hungry, as you can tell. <laughs> Getting ready to film again, baby. Ready to get it right. John, what's good, dude? Hearing this audio from the scene, from my man, it's making me feel good. Feels good to be back there. It feels good.